And being welcomed to New Zealand with a Maori greeting ceremony, an ancient tradition still used to greet dignitaries today. Robin is reporting live from Rotorua, a center of Maori culture. Good morning again to you, Robin. Uh, Lara Kia Ora, the traditional <laughs> Maori greeting which many New Zealanders use. The people here, they're the, the indigenous, indigenous to New Zealand, and they are here at the center working hard to keep those traditions alive. In the heart of New Zealand's North Island sits a small town of Rotorua, where Maori culture is alive and well. Rotorua has become a stronghold for the Maori people, who are indigenous to New Zealand and represent 16.5% of its population. Here at the Tapuya Cultural Center, Maori traditions have been on full display for tourists from around the world for over 130 years. For those people who are genuine and they come and they just want to learn about what we're doing, who we are, what we do, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. The center is home to the national schools of carving and weaving and houses the largest active geyser in the Southern Hemisphere. For Maori people, culture preservation is paramount, but remnant effects of colonialism led to older generations being strongly discouraged from using their native language. We're trying to, as you guys would say, spank. Can you imagine how sad that would be, sending your little five-year-old to school, then coming home to let you know that they had been, uh, they'd been punished for just trying to communicate. That situation affecting future generations and causing the Maori language to nearly cease to exist. I even recall a conversation with my grandfather when I was wanting to learn to do Māori at school and he said to me, that'll get you nowhere, that, that's useless, it's not worth anything, and because that was what was embedded in him. But now, Māori culture is experiencing a resurgence that's steadily gaining momentum. Every aspect of our culture, is, you know, our history, it's really um, so important because it's what gives us our connection to our ancestors. It tells us where we've come from and it's also going to tell us where we're going to. So while here in New Zealand, I had to visit the centre for myself. Hi, I'm Robin. Hi. Very nice to meet you. Oh my goodness, so you've been carving for how long? How many years? How many decades? Uh, 50, 56 years. When I was at school, I wasn't very bright. <laughs> I was, uh, well, teachers thought I was quite dumb, actually. No. But I was good at art. That's yes. one thing I was very good at. So I knew that uh, somewhere along the line, that's what my calling was going to be. Well, why don't we bring this youngin in here? Hello, yeah. how are you? Yeah. Good. You're a first year student? Yep. So you're learning from someone like like Clive. That's yeah. such an honor, I would imagine. What yeah. have you learned? Oh, too much stuff. <laughs> uh, we have lectures with them uh, pretty much every week as well, um, an hour to two hours each mm -hmm. time. Very honored to be here while Clive's still around. <laughs> Oh, like, I don't like how he said, like, 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 while you're still around, you're going to be around for a while here. Yeah, for a while. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. What is it about it that you enjoy so much? Well, lots, lots of things, really. Um, being able to create, um, just being able to, for me, it's really ther therapeutic. So just mm. getting into a zone. I'm um, creating, but not, not only that, um, we're weaving stuff that has been passed down from generation to generation. At the moment, what I'm doing is a whatu technique, uh, which we call aporua. So I am just double twining all the pieces of fibre together to make them, it's pretty much, well, I suppose, if you liken it to a sewing machine. Mm -hmm. However, I'm using my hands to bring the garment all together. And how long will it take you to complete the garment? Today I am going to have this garment completed. Oh, today? You can do... <laughs> oh I think I said that on Monday. No, I am going to... <laughs> Very good. No, I'm going to have this complete today. And this special moment...
allowing me to witness firsthand the power of Maori culture. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Say again, Namahi. 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 Namahi indeed. And Grace, this beautiful woman, is the cultural ambassador here. Namahi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you explain in more detail that welcoming procedure um, ceremony was so touching and there's a significance to it. Can you explain that? There is. Well, Robin, since the beginning of time, our people have been shaped and influenced by our environment. The mountains, the water, the moon, the stars, the geysers <laughs> uh, all play an important part in ensuring that we have a deep and everlasting connection to our land. Now, our ancient customs and traditions, or what we call tikanga, uh, which have been gifted to us from our atua or our deities um, are very important and it's something that we must respect and adhere to and celebrate as well. Mm -hmm. So Pōhiri is, is an ancient ritual of encounter whereby we, we welcome Manuhiri like yourselves like we did this morning mm -hmm. or earlier on today and um, it's our way, the Pōhiri has many aspects to it but all in all it encompasses uh, our core natural principles that we carry as Māori, which is aroha, love, mm -hmm. manaakitanga, respect and generosity, and whanangatanga, which is family. Oh, and it was so beautiful. Thank and you. I know that there are a lot of your family members. Was, you kept yeah. welcoming into the family and you <laughs> said they are. What does it mean to you to know that you <laughs> are passing it on, not just to your family, but to yeah. others? Yeah, well, you know, language and culture is crucial to the survival of any indigenous culture. Mm -hmm. uh, again, both language and culture being gifted from generation to generation for us to enjoy and to share with people just like yourselves. So the role that I play, um, I'm, I'm extremely honoured and privileged to be able to, uh, well, impart what knowledge and skills that I have to the younger generation. Um, I, I try my very best to lead by example and it's a role that I find very, very humbling and that I also take very seriously. And if I, well, the hope is that I can play my part to ensure the survival of our identity mm -hmm. as an indigenous culture and hopefully uh, our young ones, our children and our grandchildren yeah. will be doing exactly the same thing that we're doing here this morning. Uh, I know, this morning at <laughs> two o'clock in the morning, almost yeah. two after 2.30 and finally, for folks that are watching back in the States, what is your hope that they see this morning on this program? Um, my greatest hope is that they're able to see uh, throughout the travels that you take them on here in our beautiful valley of Te Whakarewarewa and also our bubbly city of Rotorua, my hope is that they're able to I know it's a little bit hard to create that connection through the camera, but I hope that they gain a greater understanding of who we are as the indigenous people of Aotearoa New Zealand, the Māori people. Mm -hmm. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, and Kia so ora. kind, humble, Thank and you. gracious. Thank you. Kia ora. Namahi. Kia ora, Robin. I know, you know, we've been having fun, but it's also been a learning experience, and I appreciate that so very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. All right, you. Lara? Yeah, namahi to you, Robin, for taking us on this bucket list trip. It is spectacular. We have learned so very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.